Hello friends, in this session I'm gonna show you for each loop container file enumerator. Let's go to SSIS packages and add new SSIS package and go to containers for each loop container, drag to the package designer and then open for each loop container, go to collection and under enumerator list we see for each file enumerator. So let's select for each file enumerator. So in my last session, I've covered for each item enumerator. So in this session, let's see for each file enumerator. So when do we use file enumerator? We use file enumerator when we want to iterate the number of files in a folder. So let's say we have these many files in this folder. I want to loop through these files and load into a table in a database. So let's copy this folder and paste in the folder configuration. So, so it loops all the files present in this folder. So I want to loop all the files. That's why star dot star. And I want to return fully qualified path. That means it returns the full path of the file name. So including file name and extension. So that I can use that file that fully qualified path as a source connection of another control flow task like data flow task, right? So, so I chose fully qualified path and go to variable mappings. And now select new variable and name as file path. And it is a string type. Click OK. So index is zero because it is, it returns only one value and click OK now. So in order to see the changes in the variable, let's add expression task in for each loop container. So now let's open expression task and go to variables, drag file path. Just click OK. It doesn't do anything just for evaluation purpose and just for to see the changes in the value. I'm, I have added the expression task and validated it. Okay. Now let's right click on the expression task and edit breakpoints and break when it receives on pre execute event. So now click OK and click start. Now let's go to watch window. If it's not already open in your designer, let's uh, click on watch window, watch tab. In, in one of these tabs, you will see watch tab let's click on that and go to and let's clear if any already exists then add your new variable name here my so my name is file path right so now click enter so it shows the value so it is showing the first iteration value here so now let's click on f5 to go to next step, next iteration. So it's changed the value to another file. So now let, let's click on F5 again. It's changing to another value. So it's changing, changing, changing. So it iterates until all the files completed in that folder. So it's completed. So this is how we, it for each loop container file enumerator iterates all the files in your folder. So now let's go to file for each loop container again and do some changes in the enumerator configuration. So let's say I don't want to loop all the files. I want to loop only ASC related prefixed files because, because of many reasons like, uh, so when we want to load ASX related files into one table and CEPP related files into another table, then we want to differentiate these files, right? So, so in the first iteration, I want to loop only ASX, ASC related prefixed files. So let's see how to limit, restrict those files uh, to in the iteration. So, so I want to prefix ASC files, right? So let's add ASC star dot star. So it consider only ASC prefixed files from this folder. So now I'll click on OK. 
execute the package again. So you see ASC related file name and click F5 again, ASC related, F5 again, ASC, 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 and done. So you are not seeing any files that are that doesn't have ASC as prefix. So this is how we can limit, restrict uh, the iteration of your folder files. So let's say I have uh, uh, I have other file extensions like uh, here it is showing only CSV files. Let's copy some more some other files which are which are different type. Let's copy these files into uh, this folder. So we have XLSX and CSV files in this folder now, right? I don't want this XLSX files uh, or I don't want CSV files. I want only XLSX files uh, iteration. So in this case, we have to define that in the right side star. So I want only XLSX format and all files. So now it gives only XLSX type related files. So you see only XLSX files are showing here. So F5, 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 F5 completed. So this is how we can uh, configure the enumerator based on our requirement. Let's say we want only name instead of full qualified path, then we can use name only. Or let's say we have subfolders in the main uh, data folder uh, here in my case, then if we want to traverse all subfolders in that parent folder, then we have we can click we can choose this checkbox to consider those files as well. So let's select name only for now and click OK. Now click again execution. So now it shows only the file name. So it's not showing any extension or any uh, source folder path. So sometimes we need this use case as well. Uh, so in that case, we use this uh, different types of uh, written types in this for each loop container. So this is how we use for each file enumerator. So the different use case scenarios of this file enumerator is mainly uh, loading files into a table uh, and uh, and changing the source connection of uh, uh, files, source paths to validate for any other uh, real-time use case. So I hope this is useful. Uh, please like, share, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you. Thanks again for watching my video.